Bump survive on a budget made easy. Your home for the info, you need to know, you're just trying to survive on a budget. I'm at Jasper's Flowers and Gifts in Jasper, Indiana. Home, right there, of the largest box of popcorn. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Island on Budget Made Easy. Like I said, this is the biggest box of popcorn in the nation. I can't tell you exactly how tall it is, but I can tell you it's almost as tall as the light pole. Okay, let's head on in to Jasper's Flowers and Gifts. When you first walk in, you'll notice the map. It has pins in it saying where other people have come from to visit. Not only do they come from the United States as far as Alaska and Hawaii, but they come from other countries like Canada. Now they do have a nice array of jewelry, necklaces and such. They also have Indiana souvenirs and memorabilia. Now, I'm rather surprised how big this place actually is by looking at the outside. It's basically three stores, like the Candyland store I did a video on probably about a year ago. I'll have a link down to it below. Over here is more of a, I'm going to say, gift, flower area. In the middle, they have two shirts, jewelry, souvenirs. At the other end, they'll have popcorn, candy, and such. We'll be looking at that stuff shortly. Now, I know right now you don't see many people in the store, but trust me, they're here. And I was ducking and dodging them. For the person that's religious, they do have a nice selection of religious gifts. I happened to notice the wind chimes. I remember my grandmother, she'd hang them out on her balcony. It just brought back good memories seeing them and of course I started playing with them so I could hear them ring. And I was also surprised by the wide range of selection they had in wind chimes. Now over here is more of the gift shop like I was trying to explain to you earlier. They have t-shirts over here, clocks, tissue box cover. I wasn't real sure what these things were, but it said do not touch them, and I didn't touch them because, well, I didn't want to get kicked out of the store. I gotta say, the staff is very knowledgeable and helpful. I haven't been in a store where I've met such a large group of pleasant individuals while they're at work. I did have the pleasure of meeting the owner along with some of the employees. They got nice little piggy banks. I kind of like the blue one myself. There's a tissue box holder. Stuffed animals. I like monkeys. Now over here are, I'm gonna say more of a souvenir type deal. Over in this area, I'm going to say it's more along the lines of a souvenir t-shirt area. Mm -hmm. 
And over here you have water bottles and those Yeti cup, cup things. Now, of course, you knew I was going to make it over the candy section. Now, I'm surprised by the selection of candy they have. Okay, over here you got rubs, salsas. Relishes. They had a wide variety of relishes. Over here, you have corn cob jelly. I never had it before, but I picked up a jar, and you'll be seeing that in a future video. Other jars of jelly and butters. But they have a real nice selection of. I'm going to say homemade canned goods and rubs. Some hot sauces and hot mustards. I'll have a link to them down below. Now just bear in mind, they have short hours on Saturday and they're closed on Sundays. Some, I'm going to say meat sticks, meat logs, cheeses. I did pick up a, a wheel of cheese, and once again, you'll be seeing that in a future video. Snacks. Now, over here, they have white chocolate covered pretzels. They didn't have a lot of white chocolate, and I did tell them that I'm not a big fan of chocolate, all except for white chocolate. And they looked at me kind of strange. And then, when I told them I didn't live very far from Hershey Park and the Cocoa Mulch, well, they laughed. And I have to be honest, I thought it was funny myself that I lived so close. Now, they have they have a lot of different varieties of popcorn, different flavors. They make them in-house. And trust me, I picked up a few bags of this. And yet again, you'll be seeing the video on it. Now, they have your standard, like caramel. Then they have some different unusual flavors. They come in di three different sizes. And the reason we price so you can get a wide variety, you got your kettle corn down here. Now over here you have a display of the chocolate candy they make. And right there is the popcorn that they make. They have a nice large kitchen, so I'm sure they can come up with some very interesting varieties of popcorn and candies. their discount bin of popcorn. I don't know why it was discounted, but I just got what was off the rack. That way if you come to visit, you have a better chance of getting what I tried. Things for the, the wine drinkers in your life. I thought this was a neat idea to carry your glasses and have a wine bottle. A little apron for your wine bottle. More popcorn. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that little tour. Um, if you're in the Jasper area, it's definitely a checking out type deal. Very friendly people, very friendly. They helped me find some other local attractions. I'm still in the search for Scrapple, Ring Baloney, Shoe Fly Pie, you know, that kind of stuff. But I might go ahead, head out. Oh yeah, I got a whole bag of stuff. I got popcorn and they had corn cob jelly. Never heard of that before. But I'll be doing reviews on the stuff in the near future. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button up here in one of these corners. Check out the links below. And as always, thank you for watching.